Hey guys, this is Developer Dude. Welcome to our brand new tutorial series where we will be building a restaurant website from scratch. In this series, we will dive deep into HTML and CSS. And by the end, you will have a front end restaurant website to showcase. Don't forget, you can also get the source code, link is in the description. So without any further ado, let's start this video. So we have completed section 1 and section 2 now it's time to create section 3 this one section so in this section first we will create a um, section 3 div in that div we will have all these elements and then we will create a div with name of card box in that div we will keep these three cards and in that card box div we will create another div of card class name which is this one and same three card three card divs okay three div we will create with class name card okay so let's create it let's go to our index.html file wrap this section 2 now create section 3 First tag heading 1, h1, right here, popular dishes, okay, save it, nothing will happen, just popular dishes will show here, you won't see popular dishes, now in this section 3, create card box, div to keep all the cards so first create another div with class card which is this div card div means this one div okay so first we design this div and then copy paste okay so first we need to add image give it source image 3 okay now use h4 means small heading and write here dish name you can add dish name here then a paragraph 10 to 15 words okay use a span tag and here you will write your price for the dish okay save it let's see how it is looking without styling so you can see the image here and the text here okay so let's style it go to style.css file and uh, target section 3 dot sec 3 padding top to bottom 7% and left right 5% okay text aligns center so what these two properties will do these will do create space here 5% okay and in the side 7% and this popular this this is text should will be in center okay so let's see you can see the space is created and the text is in center now target sec 3 h1 heading 1 we are targeting popular dishes font family cambria okay font size 45 pixels okay let's see how it is looking 
size has changed font family has changed so now let's target card box tag okay so section 3 in this div we will have all the card div elements okay so first padding 70 pixel top to bottom and uh, sorry left right zero no padding in left and right okay display flex so all the cards will arrange horizontally align items center justify content space evenly save it refresh nothing is changed means you can see here some space is created but nothing has changed cause we are targeting card box not this card okay so now we are targeting the card width of this card should be 270 pixel padding padding in this card 40 pixel top to bottom 20 pixel left and right okay border radius like we are making corners little round so border radius 15 pixel box shadow this box shadow property is used to create shadows to our box okay we are using it to add shadow to our box card okay rgba this will set shadows color 253 and uh, 209 0 0.6 okay cursor pointer so when whenever we will whenever we hover over this card our pointer will become cursor cursor will become pointer okay refresh it you can see some changes here and the picture got half looking like a mass okay so let's change the size of the image dot card hover first box shadow let me show you what is box shadow zero zero and a hundred pixel RGB 239 122 and 30 okay transform skin 1.02 transform scale ka matlab hota hai ki that means the card will become little bigger okay it will pop up refresh it you can see it is popping up when i over look it is popping it up so this property this scale property doing this when we over shadow is showing you can see orange sh shadows and is popping up because of that scale property okay now make it smooth so here we give it card we are giving card a property transition property so now it will become little smooth yeah this is smooth you can see smooth okay now let's set the image size so it would not look messy dot card and image width of the image 150 pixel and height of the image 150 pixel okay margin bottom 
45 pixel. Let's save it and see how it looks. This is how it is looking. This is our card div. Okay, now it is looking good. The corners are round because of border radius property and the shadow you can see and everything that we are looking. So now let's target dot card card h4 dot card paragraph comma dot card span okay so now we are giving same property to all these elements okay text align should be left margin bottom 15 pixels and uh, display block okay save it now this all text will go to left side okay you can see mm. So, now let's target p tag dot card p and the font size should be 13 pixel and the display web kit box and then web get uh, box orient vertical and uh, web get line clamp web get line clamp to and text width overflow should be hidden and text overflow sorry am I not text overflow ellipsis save it you can see this these dot 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 these dot dot means the text overflow means ellipsis because of this property this dot 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 is showing line clamp means only two lines not more than that webkit line clamp means only two lines not more than that and after the two lines show this dot dot okay so this is this all property means okay so when you need such thing in your web page you have to write these line of codes okay dot card now targeting span color rgb 241 tab 147 and 73 font weight should be 700 so this will look little bold using font weight we make this text bold okay you can see this becomes little bold so we are done with our styling okay now we just have to copy and paste so now we just have to go to our HTML file and wrap this card copy it copy this card div and paste it Control V and again Control V save it change the image name add it 4 ok and here 5 now save it refresh it so here we are done with section 3 we are completed we have completed our section 3 
you can see it is same as that thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know what you would like to see next and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video see you in the next video